Are you on the paleo diet? Do you crave a Twix bar? Have I got a solution for you. I'm making homemade, healthy paleo Twix bars that are gonna taste just as good as the original with some healthier ingredients. You know, every classic Twix has that beautiful, crispy, crunchy cookie layer. Today, we're gonna make a paleo version of that by making an almond flour shortbread. So I'm gonna start this with about two cups of almond flour. And then to that, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of coconut flour, a little bit of vanilla extract. And if you're a strict paleo, you wanna make sure that is a gluten-free vanilla extract. We're gonna add a third a cup of maple syrup. I love that maple syrup is paleo because it tastes delicious. And then coconut oil to give us that kind of rich, buttery texture. So coconut oil is perfect for paleo baking. It's a great alternative for butter, and it's not super coconutty tasting either. It's just kind of a nice, mild, rich, flavor. And it's also gonna help keep our crust moist. It's gonna bring all of this together really nicely. So you basically are just stirring this until it forms a dough. So when you're eating paleo, you guys know, you can't have any refined sugars. So really the only sugars that you're able to eat are coconut sugar and maple syrup. You don't wanna do the white sugar or the brown sugars. And maple syrup is great because not only is it nice and mildly sweet, also the texture of maple syrup is awesome to bring things together as opposed to like a granulated sugar, which wouldn't bring our dough together as well and also that's not paleo so okay so this looks awesome you guys can see this is coming together it feels like a dough and we're gonna put our paleo shortbread crust into these silicone molds these molds are amazing they're easy to find you can get them on Amazon buy them online they're perfect because they give us a nice crisp shape to our candy bar and also it's gonna make the candy bars a lot easier to pop out of the molds so I'm gonna put about three even tablespoons of dough into each of these molds and a key to this recipe, you guys, is you really wanna flatten out your dough really well in here because you want the layer to look like a classic Twix bar where it's kind of that perfect thin crust. What's great about these molds as well is that we can easily cut these in half and make the right and the left side, which everyone knows the right side of the Twix is the better side of the Twix. If you disagree, comment below and tell me why. I also have distinct opinions about which M&M is the best, the best type of Reese's, all of those things. So silicone molds are great for certain things. I love using silicone molds for chocolate, for making a candy bar like this. If you're baking with a gluten-free ingredient that needs a little extra help to set and get that crisp look, but silicone molds work really well for like a specialty item, like a candy mold, a chocolate mold, a candy bar, all that fun stuff. So we have these all filled up. So now it's time to flatten out our layers. So what I like to do first, just use your finger and smush the crust, smush. Press, gently press the crust. You kind of just want to make sure it's even on the center. And then we're going to take our trusty spoon and just flatten. And this is going to allow you to get into those edges to make sure we're getting that crisp look on our bar. So just lightly smush that batter into the mold. See how easy, much easier that is than just using your finger the whole time? I really dig this recipe because it has healthier ingredients. It's got almond flour, maple syrup, coconut oil, that good fat for you. But also I'm kind of a believer in if you really want something, you should cook it. Like if I really want chocolate chip cookies, I'll know how bad I want them if I wanna make it, you know what I mean? And everybody that I've made these for is obsessed with them. They're really tasty. All right, so these are ready to bake. We're gonna put them in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 11 minutes, just until the outside edges of the cookies get nice and golden brown. The second part of a Twix, it's rich and buttery caramel that just is delicious when you bite into it. It's fantastic. I love this caramel because it's no bake. I mean, literally, we're stirring all this stuff together in a bowl. We're pouring it into the molds. It sets beautifully, and it still has that same caramel flavor, and it's got great ingredients. So this is a really cool idea, a great way to make caramel that's really easy and healthy. We're gonna start it out with about a third a cup of maple syrup, and then I'm gonna add about a half a cup of almond butter. Because if you're on the paleo plan, you guys know, you can't have peanut butter. But I actually think the almond butter is a better flavor pairing with the maple syrup for the caramel anyway. So I'm also gonna add some melted coconut oil, just like we had in our shortbread crust. It gives it a nice creamy texture, a little bit of vanilla. And again, make sure you're using that gluten-free vanilla and then a little dash of salt. And we're just gonna whisk this together till it gets nice and smooth and creamy. And you know, if you have people in your life that don't like paleo food, don't tell them what it is, just serve it. They're gonna love it anyway. Okay, perfect. So have our caramel ready to go. And now we're gonna do same thing like we did for the cookie layer. We're just gonna spread this evenly into our molds. I did about two spoonfuls per mold. Make sure it gets in those little corners. Perfect, and you're just gonna do that for the rest of the bars. 
Okay, these are ready to put in the fridge. They really probably should set for about an hour to two hours, and then we're gonna dip them in our chocolate. Okay, so we have our Paleo Twix bars almost ready to go. We have those two gorgeous, delicious layers set. So you kind of want to work with them one at a time because as you work with them and they get warm in your hands, they can get a little melty. So really just try and cut them one at a time. And then we're going to put them on a cooling rack that is over a layer of parchment paper because as we dip them in the chocolate, they get kind of drizzly and messy. And it's just easier cleanup if you have the parchment paper. Use a good sharp knife and voila. Look at those layers, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? I'm like a Twix making factory in here. And these bars are coming out of these molds so easily. That is the beauty of silicone. So if you're debating about actually splurging and buying these, it is so worth it. The molds really help with this recipe. Okay, now we're gonna make our chocolate coating. This is so delicious. So I have about a half a cup of cocoa powder. You could use whatever cocoa powder you like here. This is the non-Dutch processed. And then I'm gonna add about a half a cup of melted coconut oil four tablespoons, which is about a fourth a cup of maple syrup, and a pinch or two of coarse salt. We're just gonna whisk this all together until it gets nice and combined. This is all coming together in one bowl, saves you several steps, and this tastes so good. And it's paleo. This is all nice and beautiful. So we are ready to dip our Twix bars, and I'm just gonna take a bar, pop it right down in our coating just like that, spoon the chocolate over, a nice little paleo chocolate bath. Gorgeous, so we're gonna do that with all of our bars. So this makes a really beautiful light chocolate coating. It's not like you're biting through a thick layer of chocolate. You're really just getting that dark chocolate without having like a thick layer around the caramel and the cookie, which I really like. Okay, last one, you guys, fantastic. Okay, and for an extra special little Twix finale, I'm going to drizzle some chocolate on all of these so you get that kind of drizzly look like you see on a traditional Twix. Beautiful, okay, these are ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for probably about two hours until they're completely set and they will be ready to go. These are out of the fridge. They look amazing. They smell so flipping good. And I'm gonna cut into one so you can see the inside. Those beautiful crisp layers. Yes, this looks so good. These are gonna taste just as good as the regular Twix, but just in case you have some picky eaters, don't tell them that's paleo, they're gonna love it. Cheers. Mmm. Those are so good. Those just make me smile. They are truly delightful. It's so delicious. I want to see how you made your Paleo Twix bars. Send us a photo, tag at Pop Kitchen on Instagram, and comment below. I want to know what you want to see me make next.